down FY. Pops the stick, not enough. Chalice ends up getting the deny onto FY, though. Oh, and now big, no. Isha is going to steal it away. Turn, hit, damage, dead. Oh, Chalice, and that gives him six. What a turnaround. Chalice, the god, he can bounce off that. You're in the oh. new pain train, the zone. Make sure to head over to the link in the description to GamerGains.com and a massive thanks for them for sponsoring this video. GamerGains is a platform that lets you earn and compete for cash and crypto, and all you have to do is play your favorite games. Getting started on GamerGains only takes 30 seconds, and you can sign up with Discord or Google. Connect your Steam and Epic accounts, and you're ready to go. Once your account on GamerGains is set up, you can easily accept daily challenges by launching their Overwolf app and start playing like you normally would. Once you complete a challenge, you are instantly paid out in cash or crypto. One of the best features on GamerGains is their contest feature, which tracks the best scores from your ranked games. It puts you on a leaderboard against other players in the same contest, and depending on where you land on the leaderboard, you can win a share of the contest prize. Make sure to use my referral code in the description to get a completely free bonus when you sign up. And again, a massive thanks to GamerGames for sponsoring this video. Ooh. Nope, they're going for it. Chill, this is going to be the target of the set. The Hex is there. And the damage comes in. It's so much. Shot down in seconds by the words. Uh, BKB not oh, no, coming down as well. MJZ on the sidelines here. He's trying to get back. off the L. Doesn't have the egg. Wurta actually just going to go and stand and hold his ground here. And he's just taking down everyone. The Lurch is gone, but the BKB is ending soon. He's completely out of mana. Who wins a fight between him and the Luna? Well, with the stun coming through from Saberlight, it might well be the Muerta. Oh my god, Luna. She finally falls. RTC, he's taken down everyone is a rampage Rax there skitter keeps going in for more glaive's going everywhere do they have enough now to take down 33 they turn they hit he's falling low but he heals back up and the nether three, three. damage is down but they managed to barely connect 33 caught by noob thompson they jump on him find omar that's a big kill to get can they kill any more he buys back needs to get into the fight though doesn't have a pulverize to break the thompson life drain kaori in complete trouble isolated they're doing so much damage here thompson living in the midst of all of this mayhem they can't stop the green little man he's coming from more he's taking you all down thompson life drain kaori can't do it you can't stop it it's way too much. Noob tries to get away. The banishment is there. An ultra kill coming out in a second for Thompson. If he can catch up oh. to the rest of them. Lift. Find the chase down. Looking for the kill. Looking for the oh, finish. Oh, he got him. Oh. For the slark, the poke and put. Trying to deal with the first slark. Nemo, but just blows up the cuddle. Now he's got the ag shot to work with as well. But it's an early use of the fan of knives. It's not going to matter, though, as they won't protect mid one. Age is taken care of. Look at them just setting up around their observer oh, inside the cliff, but Bacaz gets another kill and he's not done, man. No one's in, but is it too little, too late? As now they'll turn to the Brista back. The Torrent Storm is... Look at a TP out as well. Uh, is this with Or is that just my... <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You gotta, he's you gotta stop. What am I looking at? What's going on? I, Why I, is it Bo? I have no idea. He's there. He's there. It must have been the Hitcher ride. What? We go, the bubble set up here, crits here, Abed's here, and here comes Saberlight as well, and he's Will he so it? close to getting it, but looks like it's going to be taken away from him. Yes, it is. And he no, did he actually manage to buy. He got, he got the buy, but here comes Arteezy on the back line. Goes for Chalice. Darkseid dropping low in HP. Flying crit already dropped down by Somnus, and so is Saberlight and Rebellion. have already lost so many heroes, but Chalice is going to be taken down at least. They're going to go straight onto the Sven. Somnus with the roll in. Arteezy dropped half HP. Just going for the stun onto the clockwork of FY. That's a shield so running around. He doesn't have a lot of targets to hit right now, and he's trying to get a bit of distance. Arteezy, he has no TP out, so Abed, they kind of realize how hopeless this situation is right now, and he's dead. And RTZ is still running in circles. They're just zoning him right now. Somnus full HP goes straight onto the Sven. RTZ fighting back. He's trying to fight 1v3. Um, you know, Planet having that space to farm. Ooh, Poison Touch coming in. Nether Strike. Eclipse used on the back lines by Chiro. And they're going to go and get themselves not one, but two. Notice is gone. FNG with a shallow grave surviving for a second longer. Finally, they get nothing to say. And Kiritich and Squadix are trying to get something in return. They get nothing to say. They get why you smile. There's this sprout up around Squadix. Shiro just standing his ground. He's got an ultra kill. He's going to get a rampage. Kiritich in trouble. There's the Lucian Beam. Spirit Vessel too. Sprout around him trying to run. Shiro still being a little bit careful. Another Lucian Beam. 
The spirit vessel replaced oh, on him, pops the to go, use the Pierce the Veil, try to survive as no one sees far on the side of the river, but a nice air splinter coming into play. Can they finish off Mira? Not gonna be able to quite do a micro. Very far forward now as Yathro chases after him. He's just gonna continue to toggle. They find this all collapse. Good positioning from the centaur. We'll ensure they get themselves a double kill, sidestepping over onto Afu. They want this kill, they want a little bit more blood. The tag team triple kill now for Yathro. As Maposhka, he's on. I am the cent, uh, rather, it's not the center, it's I am this enchantress, as uh, they want a little. Where it though? Ooh. Are you killing the Tormentor? Oh no! Oh, the Echo Slam on top of the Tormentor! In comes Weaver as well, the Tormentor goes down, but now it's time for gaming gladiators to get the hell on out of there. The fact they've only oh lost, okay, God. they are gonna. Man, you might be right. I that would be can't insane, though. I believe that. All right, Agnes oh, Scepter for Luna. Now, Haunt? Looking for a fit. What? Okay, double, double, double! Oh my god, no! Ah! They burned through the ages! Yo! <laughs> died. What a god! Get this! I just, like, looking at this Luna's items, oh boy. Yeah, King RD. All right, they're gonna try to use the Eclipse, but again, they have the Aghanim Scepter coming out from the uh, the Dawnbreaker. So King RD, he's gonna get cut to pieces. They'll find the stun over onto Analog and Costa. And it's a little bit chaotic right now. They do have the Torrent Storm, so they have that going for them. Q sitting quite low, but they'll end up getting killed on FCR. Q eventually to pull with these Bouncing Blades. Costa left alone. It's a triple kill from Makoto. And Ollie, he wants Analog. Torrent Storm is available. Oh, crit jumps in, doesn't find anybody though, immediately getting silenced up, and he's just gonna get taken down. The Smash Cash can fight on the back ones. Mirrors goes down to Sable Light straight away. And Sable Light trying to look for more here as RTZ pops the ultimate, bashes down into Lull. He's gonna control that a little bit less. Spirit Breaker is already coming in there on top of RTZ, silenced up and pushed away by Arbet. Arbet trying to keep him alive here and may have just done it, staying upon him and now uses him to Sunder and Stone. What's happening? It's not gonna be enough. He's surrounded by Team Spirit heroes. RTZ will fall and now Sable going down as well. I think for Shopify now, Arteezy, he has to silver it, he has to break mechanic. Maybe he needs to think about finding Enchantress first, instantly kill her off, and then force her to lose out. Well, there you go. Energy. You're Toro. He's dead as well. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> another charge. Arteezy moving on to the Spirit Breaker here. Very scary for Arteezy here, don't forget. No buyback available on him. The charge through once again. Collapse. He is taking damage here, but they managed to get the connection on onto RTZ. The damage, though, is not really massive. And now they're refreshing. And Taurus, one kind of losing the. Oh my god, the post from the sidelines. RTZ is gone. Team Spirit, they get the carry. Can they do it without him? They've taken down Crit as well. Collapse trying to fight up with Arbed here, but Postcard from the sidelines just blasting out the impetuses. Lal with the ultra kill. Moving on to Sabrelite. Sabrelite trying to do what he can, but there's nothing left. Left in the tank, Centaur's gonna drop a wrap. So you gotta do something. And this is what VP's happy with. Stampede's gonna be popped as already charges in Fisher on two. Echo on two by Squadix. Disrupt is gonna be low one HP. Can't get this uh, static storm off at all. Notice it's low one HP too. He's gonna have to move himself over the Wind Waker. But wait, on is down. Tomato's popped his BKB and Kasane and Brawl. They're gonna be chasing on some Notice. FNG is also on the run. Kirit just down to half HP. Notice gonna be found. He's gonna charge away. And Invoker has been found as well with the stuff from Kirit. This Kirit just takes him down. Looks for Kasane as well. The Omni Knight down for the double kill for this one. And Tomato is down too. They're forcing out buybacks off of TS7 Ari. He's all by himself right now. Struggling to find good points for TSM right now. Okay, a bit of an attempt on a bait. Notice was just hanging around there, waiting for the Ice Blast flat on top, and maybe somebody jumps him, but they jump after. And Brawl's gonna get silenced right away. The puck's gone! Brawl doesn't get to do anything. He does not get to play Dota. And by the looks of it, neither does the rest of TSM. They're trying to oh, go for the run. White Monsters taking so much damage from the... Nullifier, full abyssal blade, and now has divine ray through up. There's the flop, stifling dagger. Them. They're gonna look and try to get the kill here out of the terror blade. They get the ice blast coming in. That's gonna land on the three of these heroes. They've got BK low, but can they get the kill? They'll take out his first wave. Because whisper and panda all gone. Because bought out, he does not have buyback.
They got the oh, kill on the terrible, but this is terrible as the loose season. The liquid supports have in Sania. Well, He's in the front line. Blink Here comes to Bristol. The top. They've got Zai, who does have this ag. Sonic Wave and Senior only dying for the second time. But they end up losing. See, smile for it. Whispers in pretty deep, but they've got the God Strength for it because the damage is out. They get the kill on the Nature's Profit. Now, Soulbind, but the Quill Spray. Zai ends up There's taking the out Panda. Doom. They've got themselves the Soulbind. They have the Double Doom. Do they have the damage? Get the kill. They'll end up blowing up the egg. Now they let the Shaka shot out of Kazi. Sprouted up and killed off by Nisha. Matthew on the run. Nick ends up falling to Matthew. As now, Nisha at least trying They're to get the finishing up. touches to this team wipe. They bought back on Boxy. They'll get the kill to Matthew, and it's so many... Not on the mark. You tried to sit up with the tornado. Still They're just the gonna go for the throw. Duracha might die to the sun strike. That's a big start. Makoto's putting in work in the defense. Ace will try to enter Savage for Q. Kicks him right next to the fountain. That is the damage they need to bring down the Primal Beast as well. And they have held. We are not done just yet. The Savage will also stop Celery from getting out of maybe? Celery? Oh, cute. Nice prediction. All right. He's able to catch up the Celery, so at least there will be a third. Savage. 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 Let's see how True Shift to be able to work with. Not going to be able to blow him up from four to zero. Ace spies the Shadow Demon, but doesn't commit with the charge. Got the Going to be cautious. They group up instantly. The split away once again. Duraccio doesn't find an opportunity for the corner, but everyone is isolated. Makoto's away from the boys. They're going to need to find some way to protect him in the corner. This time, we'll clip two heroes, and that gives him the opportunity to kill off Jabs as well. Savage against the world. Can he do it for the instant buybacks? Solid Guardian back into the middle. Savage, of course, he has that set. So life. Down to the southern side, though, Ace gets some time to charge away, but the Fissure stops him from escaping. The Rancho gets blown up as well. And now Quinn, looking like it might be a dieback, finds the blink at the last second. Gaming Gladiator is not done. In jungles, they have a charge arm. They've got this the vision. What is going on? They find the opening on the back end. Again, planet, the first one to go down. And it's just totally separate. Why do you smile? Off to the side, Costa all by himself is getting knocked around by nothing to say. And Shido, King RD, will end up dying. Costa trying to buy himself a little bit of space, trying to have Analog come help him, but he's just a little bit too late. That's just going to get used. Analog looking for the opening, but you know, he's a big baddie, and it's just so hard to get him off of you. FCR going in with the side. Can they finish up? Nothing to say, nothing oh, can't. to the fact that they have this oracle and they'll end up losing analog and they'll end up losing jump forward okay they pop it immediately there's the follow-up though as now Shiro. okay he's gonna stay alive a little bit longer coaster just ripped apart there'll be multiple buybacks coming out from keystar as analog separated from the rest of his team get king rd this is looking disastrous now for keystar they're trying to find the opening trying to do something here after they buy back Costa, he's here, but new. He's just so big, so scary with that BKB. Look at this man. It How do you stop him? It is looking so hard for them to do it. They'll go and just try to hold in place the site. It's just not enough damage. They don't seem to have it. King Jungles will go down. Three dead on the side of Keenstars. New, he's still alive. Still kicking. He's going to go walk oh back into God, the face. He's just again. ripping them. Up that secondary life, but the chase is on. 33 looking for another doom out potentially. Will commit it onto K1. He found the Naga, but where's the backup? Here they come. They've got the Naga. Oh, nice fire. Fire. Now, Lellis. In comes Gunner. He's got the Echo. And Skitter oh, sneaking my away is Moon now, turning onto 33, but Design's better off. It does try to back off, but in comes Nine. He'll go onto Yamsun. Tornado will land on the Phoenix into the Magnetizer. Yamsun, he will burn out. In goes Moo, still being chased down by Tundra. They should have been be able to get this guy, but Moo is still running, still buying time for Gunner to move back in. He's on the Invoker now, but Skitter, he'll have Chrono in 10 seconds. They've got to be very careful, Skitter. No, they won't have Chrono because Skitter's down. And there goes Thompson. Off, he's got another in one second, but the reality of back 33 will get stunned. He is down. has the opportunity to clutch yeah, someone out of the game, like you swap oh. them in as Miero. Yeah, Blade Mail makes it a bit awkward right there, but it's not awkward enough. And they do get the reincarnation at least. The Alchemist also caught. Chemical Rage has been activated though, so the reincarnation yeah, comes up and they get the kill on That's a Wraith King. He's got the Scepter effect for now. Bear's dead number one. Lone Druid resummons the next. Nightfall, he does help finish off the Wraith King. 
Meanwhile, Ospin jumped in. back in, got concerned initially, but he gets the BKB off after the fact. Chemical Rage out of attacks, a nice swap for the Mitchell Spear, trying to keep Pure alive. Pure is barely alive, alive, but he is indeed yeah. dead. 85 seconds out for him. Tango jumping in, finishes off Skyrath, but he cannot get more. He blows up, and now Nightfall is by himself. Save's gonna come like over and try to change that. Jeez, the overclocking buyback. buyback on to Pango. Nightfall, now a chance to put some good damage. Yeah, you gotta respect it. Pango, stunned initially as he went in. Concoction as well with the follow up. Nice up. Lena doing the auto attack to roll up, helping keep him alive for the time being. But Moretta is looking to finish off Alchemist. And one more auto attack should do it. Yes, finds the Alchemist. And Nightfall is unstoppable currently. Oh, Lena, though, him. with a dieback kill. He has on to Pango. One. One versus yeah, one. This last pick, Lena Keizu, is uh, is looking really good. Yeah, it, it, one player. It's uh, just looking like the perfect pick. He's dealing. Oh, are you serious? Wave right at the start. Somnus could be in a ton of trouble. Jump forward, stun. Can they bring him down in time? Is there any save at all? No. And now they decide and commit to the fight. A catastrophe. Raspberry instead. Oh my God! Oh, he blew him up. Do they have enough damage to bring the rest of them down? Oh, oh the dear God! Lua destroyed that fight. Looking now for more. Finds Gabby. The follow-up stun. Alx is fine. I'll do it myself. Don't need a Doom. Don't need an OD. Just give me the blood. Drop the calling down. Roll forward. Finds him. Magnetized out. This is undispellable. They pop the egg. Stormstormer trying to do what he can. Needs to back out, but the Abyssal Blade is there. He is going to drop all in onto the throne. They're going to pop clip. It is starting to do some good damage. Oh, Gabby there right on top of him. Can they go in for more? Tries to do it, but the throne exposed. Somnus turns now onto Gabby. Takes him down once. They have that much left in the tank. Chalice full HP again. Will roll forward onto both of them. Fly back onto Terra Blade. But as they... Oh, are they actually Get him out. back out? Get him out! Are they Push actually out. backing out of this? Thomas uh. does a triple kill. They're just waiting I for him to them, die. Runs them. back in, goes for the break, goes for the bash, and ultra kills Thomas. <laughs> gets the rampage. These going in builds. Oh, Yadro. Yeah, I mean, he gets the wisdom rune, but he's going to pay for that. No, time off. Gets away. Time dilation. Chrono now on to one. Wants to find that kill to pay. Okay. Yeah. Hunting. He's still in vision. No, they jump forward. Find him. But Poshka off to the side. They get him with the hex. The cataclysm. Yadro jumps away and now turning. Wants to hit onto that egg. BKB already out. Collapsed. In. Brings it down. Now they did kill off them where it's already. Laurel tries to back oh, away. Eat out. the cheese. Tries to escape. Yadro gun slinging away. Does he have enough damage? Oh, can he get out of there? Survives. He turns it around. Triple kill, Yadro Catches Deadshot, Hex again, so ready. Stun, now on to two, but there's no follow-up. Kyrtich now tries to get onto him. Yadro turns, hasn't popped that much yet. His Collapse tries to back away. Laurel under control, silence, disarm, still fine. Poposhka oh, splits the cheese. Now the kick back, he kicks him away! Oh! Splits the uprights and dead in an instant. That's TA gone, that's more. This might be the fight they were waiting for. Kyrtich starts to die. The Supernova's out. Notice, under control. They're gonna get that stun. No, the Stubo save. Poposhka, the man, on top of it. They find more, kill him off again. Triple kill, Yadaro. That Stepping forward onto Notice, down to half HP. Kyrtich jumps forward, starts to bring him low. Will it be enough? No, the Terrorize is there. They have their answer. Fear pushes back Yadaro, but the stun, the ravage, the cataclysm times two. It's too pretty. Double ravage, double gata. Keep looking for more. Notice is about to fall again. He's going to come back in a green light, but then there's not a whole lot left in the tank. Poshka still hasn't been hit. That is Mega Creeps. Team Spirits, the favorites coming in. A triple kill as they taunt. Jump in, he's get those shots from the Shadow Realm. Tor comes up, oh, beautiful back here with Nisha immediately with the follow up there. This could be the killing blow as they grab that Kunkka, slam him down, but it looks like maybe they're running out a little bit of steam yeah, here. Now they're getting pulled in. Nisha still, he held on to his BKB and he's getting out of there. Meanwhile, the building for 23 is going to try and get something for the Yule Scepter. It stops him almost immediately. Tor's and the first in. damage is just too much for 23. 23 knows he needed something there, and he just gets met with the stone wall that is this liquid lineup. 
Have every answer. There's just no room to operate. Yeah, that is a... Get a little bit of scouting, but Q, who they wanted, they managed to get the TP away. They do have the Dawnbreak Earl, but they all managed to hop out of it, so no chance. But they are tied. 23 is beating back Mikke. Nisha goes to the kill. On to Q, diving with his BKB. Actually, the last second of the stun, not quite good enough. Still, though, Talon are retreating successfully, even if it is a one for two. They don't get caught too much here. They've walked away with a kill on the carry. Oh, look at the like ward. Wait. Boxy sees everything right now. Gets the punch up in the air quickly. First down, Ollie with Zai coming through. A beautiful hit from the stun and getting good damage in. But the BKB just came in for 23. Savage got stunned up, though. He's going to be maybe losing his first life. He pops it now. BKB trying to commit to the kill on him. Now he doesn't have a BKB on his second life. This is bad for 23. Bad for Talon. If they could have gotten away, but Team Lee. But they got it. Oh, Jeff picked up the Aegis. 23 isn't gonna have that extra life. Is he gonna be fine though? Mickey right in there with a the BKB, but he don't oh, hit it. it. Oh, it's too much. Oh. He managed to push through both of those heroes, one versus two, and the rest of Talon are crumpling to the initiation of the Storms here. The Ghost's gonna try and get away, but remember, this was an all-in. They took away the Aegis, that means 23 can't join in this fight. They buy back, but for what? The supports will not have cores join them in this second part of the fight, and they're just gonna be hunted down now. Diebacks on the side of Talon. Oh no, Talon, what have you done? That A blasted. A wisdom rune. He wisdom. goes from level 27 to level 27. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't don't fight the Tormentor. Don't do it. Oh, oh my god. Wait. Okay. Wait. No. He can do it. He can do it. He cannot do okay, it. Yotaka, <laughs> keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Fun fact about that attempt. It was not even remotely close. <laughs> All the sheep onto Ramses. Do they have the damage? The RP, but the save is there from Antares. And Ramses will survive. Great. That was scary. Great save. If Kiyotaka was healing. I'm sure he didn't want to admit to his team why he was healing in the <laughs> mountain when there was no heroes remotely close to him. He's going to blink into the corner. He's going to force that pin. They're going to be able to see him. Oh, he gets Hexo. There's the RP finally to come. OD is dead. No buyback at all. And Miero will follow suit. He does have his buyback available. There's the waveform from Ramsey. He's able to clean up one. And that's a form of new. So no brood to come, but he does have his buyback available right now. It looks like Antares is going to die on the sidelines. As there's a triple buyback coming out. Making a quad from Indeed. They only have the range racks for now. It's a Shadow Realm now. Antares, he takes the RP all by his lonesome. So not the greatest thing for nothing to say. They will get the kill in the end. That's a dieback essentially because two minutes for no Rubik. Echo Stomp. We're really gonna connect on much other than the, the Magnus. So double kill for Shiro. So they are finding kills in the back line. There's the second RP into the arms of Shiro. The hot dogs are too much to handle for nine pandas. As Miero, oh yeah, blinks out thanks to the Eon disc. Can they find him? Yes. The curse crown with that shard activating his trip. By Taka, he finds new. That's good. Oh, he got the silence off in and time. The crippling no. fear with Shiro coming in. That's a dead Earthshaker. Soulbind on the two. And the boat is coming for Ramsey. Stampede's not going to help him here. He is absolutely stunlocked with that Torrent Storm to follow. Pops that BKB, but he is completely surrounded. And they're going to bring him down. Triple kill for Shiro. And LGD. Don't even. Otherwise, it feels like you're gonna just lose. But K1, they gotta find a fight. Or try for it. turn, they're surrounded, they're bringing in the numbers, but already jumping on towards Yamsen. Yamsen's gone, and Lowe's gonna turn over towards K1. They try to bring down Chalice, they'll drop the ravage upon him. Okay, K1, kill him. He's having to run. K1 will get out of the fight. Chalice being fully focused, but he's still got so much HP to play with. They can't finish him. He's where he's walking back into the Wukongs. He doesn't care at all. Everyone's killing on her. Two dead on now. The dead shot as well. Putting no the way. His TP out. You cannot escape this Azure Ray. As Moo is surrounded by the storm, he's got the BKB ready if necessary. Off in the Bloodstone, and now the BKB's out, Gunner. Lay down the Wukong's command, low, he's just straight in on top of him, they jump forward over towards Gunner, they've glimmered him up. So Gunner's surviving a little bit longer, but still the Radiant's burning down, he'll still fall. Gunner's out of the game, no buyback on him. Yamsa to fall yet again, as this game should soon and shortly be over. The buyback will come out from Yamsa, but let's just see, there's no buyback for Gunner. The Glyph is out there for him, but catching the two of the Mystic player come out return, but doesn't do any damage at all as they'll lose Yamset again. Four dead, game's over. GG is called. Ooh. Back to the drawing board. Absolutely. Yeah. And a move to bail him out of this gunner. He's able to get back to base. Move. Can he get away? He cannot. Low. Drags him back, finishes him off. A buyback to come out from Moon. Charge forward. 
Saw man position thrown down onto Logan. Yeah, another, kick. another kick back. Gets Mu out of the fountain. Back into the reaches of Logan. And Jian Ming has moved. Silence taken out. And without these two cores, no buybacks on them. The space will be there for Azure to move on to the tier fours. Sarvis again in, another kickback. He's that not going to find it this time, just get caught by the roof. So they've got the damage with the E plate they have. They take out the FY. But Lowe's the ending this. It's getting focused. Gun is caught outside of the base. He has buyback. He's going to try and nuke them down here with the Illuminate, but the creeps are onto the Ancient. Lowe continues to try and close it. Another kill from Gunner. But Chalice, the buyback's there. Solar Guardian straight into the heart of Now. Straight to their fountain. Sweeps it with the hammer. They're all going down. Now's just left to Lelis on his own here. The last one with buyback. They have a full farming. He's got a fear. They're trying their best now, but it's not good enough. As Azure Ray onto the ancient. GG is called. Azure. Gets the blink away, but a little bit far forward. And now the fight for Tiernate over on the other angle. Dawnbreaker ultimate down. Bryo connecting, killing Fly. Saberlight throwing out those quill sprays. Bryo rolls back in on the Saberlight. Abed is there, but they're having to back away. TSM all together. Inkswell onto Tomato. Turns, wants to get a sun. This Soulbind is going to connect onto both. And now the roll through. Kasane gets the heal back up from the Luminosity. And then the snowball save. That is what they needed. Arteezy under control. Down to half HP. Goes back into the Shadow Realm. And finally, they're going to bring him down. Kasane with the triple kill. He was so close to dying. Unbelievable. TSM trying to play cleanup as finally this moment has opened up for themselves. The snowball means that Saberlight is going to get controlled. Still dealing a lot of damage though. But Tomato moves back in. Three seconds stun. Godlike. It was right back to the laning stage right there. It was already. Right. kill down bottom here with his ulti. Moves in, finds him. Immediately there with the RP, Wait, the kiss is hold, hold. not quite going to connect. The saber like oh, pops the drive-by. All right, I'll do it myself. Gets out of trouble. Can they get anything, though? Jump forward. Bryo finds one. BKB out. Doesn't have an angle. Okay. KB wearing low. Abed thinking about going, not wanting to commit yet. Bad jump. Do they chase? They take down that ward. Hunting. Saber light. Still has Stampede ready. Kasane pumps it. Catches immediately. Ari throwing out the kisses. What damage do they have? The egg is already there. Tomato hits onto it. But now the Manta, the walk away. Stun is there. Can they get it in time? They do. Barely managing to bring it down. Oh. connected. Says no sorry. TSM, they're tired of playing second fiddle, trying to take the top spot here at NA as they find four. Oh, they're too strong. The auras are there. They race up the high ground. Really nice grab for gaming. That is what they want, because now you're putting them in a position where if Matthew dies again, this high ground just gets broken entirely. I see that in Pekaz, he's just raining down Hellfire Rachio, right now. he's gonna get on top of Pekaz right now, but of course Snap does get him a little bit of distance with the side device. Now they get the Terrorize on him. That's gonna be the first life in let's... No, he does fall. Did get Matthew's buy. Matthew, can he get the kick in on the revive? Jirachu instantly pops BKB. See smile looks to jump forward. Pops BKB with Jirachu popping his own BKB to go for Quinn instead. Now with the kickback on him, they blow him up instead. Ace to come in deep and look at the picture. He's blocked off right now with his BKB. He can protect himself, but immediately rip pressure. See smile trying to get up, but Panda was in deep. Because on the front line. Oh, he's the top no he, he jumps straight in, takes out Jirachu. Panda gave him an opportunity, and because goes straight for the throne. Now he's going to finish up both Ace as well. The blood zone, the blood zone. He's Oh, he gets the, oh, get the jump, they get the RP on the two, on the dazzle. Can they kill him fast enough before the shell great? They get the skewer, and that's just enough. Quinn tried to jump in, give the extra heal, and he is doing a lot of damage. Remember, this heart agonim scepter because tons of, of damage over time, and that's why because vacated the area and just went for other kills. They're just gonna leave Quinn alone, kite him around. They're doing this beautifully, but can they kill him? Clock on EG. Oh, he's gonna jump under Duraccio. Those to be the fast and the time walk is down, but the gold chronosphere is coming up, and he gets him right on the edge. Quinn, he's gonna help with the damage. They're gonna try and skew him away, but oh, Kazu is actually gonna let Proof that he turns it. Or keep you away. Everything. Keep you away. Uh oh, they don't have Quinn now. Right as the initiation comes in, the Chronosphere only catching the Magnet. And the Overgrowth. That's, right, the overgrowth that's gonna stop the damage too. Oh, the Ravage will be able to fall. Absolute.
disaster for gaming gladiators and evil genius Swiss. They will feast in this fight. Quinn is They're back. Able to take away the Aegis. Sriracha goes back into play. And yeah, Quinn's back with a shield room at that. Oh, a shell grave. Just at the right time to be able to bail up Sriracha. They finish up the tree. But Sriracha fighting for his life right now. Great avalanche to be able to cover him up. But the shallow graves are just. just won't die. Oh, he will not die. Finally, because deals with them. But the damage is done. Sriracha lives. Ace coming up huge in a team fight. A lot of vision here. Analog right up front and center. Down to half HP, but the Bloodstone okay. heal. Okay. Pretty insane. GPK, Mystic Flare down. Even in the BKB, it did a lot, but not quite enough. And the overgrowth is huge. Nightfall just running in. Doesn't even need Metamorphosis. Stabile is trying to get away and will turn to fight a little bit. But with Metamorphosis, Pop, he did not stand a chance. Everybody falls. Bed Boom are way too strong. Yeah. Oh, maybe he lives along Look this him. bottom lane. Uh, the fans are approaching the stage. They smell blood in the water. They're ready for this one as the Ancients expose Bed Boom stepping forward. They are going to take the victory. They are going to move on the road to the international. And Vivo Keystar is there out of here. Ah, oh, Bed Boom expectation. That ward, that ward, it's gonna pay off. Got him after the Manta. 33 has the ink swell to chain the stun onto his epicenter. Beautiful stop, but if Skeeter could die. Oh man, what a dodge! Gabby charges right through that red flag, and now Skeeter can continue to chase down, surviving through the ice blast easily. He's got that cheese still after all. Kata Omi blinking forward, trying to get an initiation. 33 gets his jump on the invoker, immediately the Cataclysm. Skeeter already down to half health. Pops Phantasm tries to go back to Watson, but Watson is kiting this one out. They don't need to fight it right oh, now. Oh, the gold by double pull back in. Could that be good enough? No, the Terrorize pushed away all the Chaos Knight. 33, he jumps in, trying to control up Watson as long as possible, but the song, the song goes off, bails him out, and now he starts healing back up. Oh, yeah, he's ready to get this going already, popping that trample. Wants to be able to lay down these cores. 33 with a sandstorm trying to protect himself. If those impales can do enough, maybe they can still turn this one. Maybe Tundra still has a chance as Skeeter goes back in, trying to go for the big primal beast, but he is tickling him. It is not real damage. Thompson is raining oh, a lot, though. though. Maybe it's Thompson who can do this one, but the silences are still a problem out of the BKBs. He's doing what damage he can, but the heart is rectifying any bit of damage that is being done. Enemy are healing up time after time in the ice blast. Heck blast. That heal out of the place. This fight has gone on so long, but no heroes of Entity are dying, and every single one of them of Tundra will fall. They just can't kill anybody. There's too, way too much. 33 actually making the jump in here, seeing if they can finish off Watson without using the jump, but he gets off the Sunder, and that's now trouble. He forced that down. Skeeter. Oh, anyway. tidal wave trying to get him, pull him out. Bone coming in. There's the water park. It's, it's not something they can fight into, so it's going to be a dieback on Skeeter. Nobody can come in and save him. And look at Watson, he doesn't give a damn about that, dude. He just seems on going to town. Now he's going to run down Thompson as well. Looks to be able to toss himself up in the air. Enough time for a jump. Can he jump away? He's got it now, but he'll fall anyway. And that's no buyback on him. Two heroes, no buyback. The most farmed heroes on the side of Tundra. And grab that third core. Pull him back in. Tundra have totally fallen apart. They push this game a solid 40 minutes. But in two, it'll end. They have Doom by with no Doom. Meta be damned, Watson's gonna end this game right here, right now. They surely are. X-Rox is spot with the swap going out there. Wukong's man, but it's a support monkey game. Who yeah. cares? Ignore it. Watson is ending this game right now. There's nothing you can do to stop him. Throw all the spells you want. You don't have the stuns. You don't have the damage to stop this terror blade. He still has no meta. Yeah, he's doing it all melee style. It just doesn't damn matter. You don't have a single carry left in this game to fight the one that is the rank one Watson. And that is oh, it. The TI-11 winners are eliminated. A Radiance, I believe. As Whitemon getting gone on by the Brew. Not able to get his ult off quite yet. Continuing to get silenced. There's a lot of damage being applied to Moo. Is this going to be enough to actually take him out? Getting oh. up to the other side and finally gets off his ult.
and that is a lift onto the Brewmaster. As you can see, the kick in to Mato in a lot of trouble. Surrounded, pops his BKB, trying to focus now on the Brewlings. None of them will die quite yet. Uses the Eclipse finally. Most of the focus now onto Yamsen, who actually gets away. And now the Song of Siren from K1, holding everybody in place. Looks like the Tramp Protection will be the first to fall as Tomato. Trying to focus down Mu again, who will somehow live the Sprout, just continuing to be a thorn in the side of TSM, who've already lost two, including the likes of Bryle. Lots of close sprays being applied to the Naga Sirens. Gunner getting the double kill for now. Rolling onto Tomato. Lots of damage being applied. He's going to get the lockdown on him and likely will fall as well. A triple kill for Gunner as K1 doing his thing against the Bristle, just keeping him consistently rooted. I mean, this is a very. Did TSM get a barracks? I, guess. I don't know. Hook shot in from level. Oh, There's a the buyback onto K1. They have the grave right now on the clock. But remember, he does have that Aegis intact. He's oh, going to oh use God. the refresher for himself. Going to go for a second roar as Tomato is going to have refresher for himself as well. As they're being pursued onto the high ground into the enemy triangle. There's the first egg, I do believe, as Tomato. Trying to save Kasani, but just dies to the illusions. The modern has kind of to stand his ground. Has to be really careful. This is the Divine Reaper we're talking about. The Shrub's going to keep him alive a little longer, but beautiful Kong. Tomato's dead. Divine Rapier on the deck. Who will pick it up? White Mon going to survive a little bit longer. Ari finally passed for pressure. There's the second egg. Now being completely destroyed. And he is done so. No buyback available. Divine Rapier now on the side of Nouns. And it is Dazzle, like you said, so... Outside of vision, charge instantly stopped from that board. Up into the air, the silence is out upon them. They'll turn, they'll get the grab immediately onto Miros. He's out of the game, so on him, no buybacks available. And they Ramsey. find it, Topher, they don't even get him. Topher's still alive. Finally, the charge of the attacker comes in to take him down. But they cannot fight here against the remainder of Gaming Gladiators as Ramsey is caught by the nasal goo. Gaming Gladiators is surrounding the Sven. Key Attacker trying to help out with the charge across, but it's Quinn who comes crashing across the two of them. Ramsey is just... The three tanky beasts with triple Lincolns there. He's in, but... Uh, was that a Doom on an Illusion? It's a Doom on an Illusion. It was a, it was a Doom on an Illusion. <laughs> and the Supernova's out. They, they can't, can't hit it. This egg. Mirror's out of the game. They're trying their best to hold on Nine Pandas, but at this point, very little that can be done to give them a chance of turning this one. As the tier four's under threat, Queen goes in, takes out Solo, he's out for good. Ramsey's tries for the stuff, but the Lotus Can't is there. Can't even finish it. And just himself. Queen comes in with the grab. GG. It's all over. GG is called. Gaming wow. Gladiators today completely crush Kim. But the rack. to get a couple of items while this is going on. Jabs jumps forward, finds it. Toronto Tokyo in trouble, ends up being brought down. That's Scorch, a dieback. Looking for something, anything. Can they connect onto him? Jabs again gets saved by it. Oh, 23 Savage. He went to save Jabs. And now he gets caught. Wait, 23 Savage fought back. If he dies again, that could be it. Jabs, son. Oh, right. Oh, steady falls. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. The hook, the connection. Q, he's in trouble. Oh, Bed Boom, have you actually done it? There's a buyback. This is one of the two heroes that still have one. That went way better than I expected on the first high ground. That's quite inspiring, honestly, for Bed Boom to see this happening. Okay. I fall, I fall, I fall. Get out of there with the cheese. The save come out from the aisle. Pure. He's in no man's land. One more damage there. Look at the desolator. The hits coming in from the aisle. GPK comes out, goes for the disarm, and then the back away. Pudge, back alive again, needs to BKB, needs to escape. The tricks of the trade, chasing, they're waiting for Makoto, wants his moment, and they find him! Is it gonna be enough damage? Yes! They take down Makoto! Can they get any more, though? Nightfall, the hook, again, pure, he's on his man, can they bring down this Willow? Goes for this to walk away! Then the damage coming out, the Aya was doing so much of it! Save and Nightfall doing it all together, but they managed to kill off that Muerta. Now the buyback looks for more Toronto Tokyo with his axe. He's so freaking tanky on this Undying. 10,000 HP on Toronto Tokyo looking for more. That boom, they're going to claim the game. How do you do that? How? How? Still under a smoke. BK jumps forward, finds one, wave for him. How much damage can they take? They absolutely rip through him. That's gonna do it. They find and kill 23 Savage. Easy as pie. Here comes 
noticed. Hello. They'll settle for Katsu over the turnover towards him with the AoE Doom. They're trying to push back Notice. In fact, Notice will respect them and back off here with the remainder of his BKB and the AoE Doom. Jump over for Kat Irving. Cataclysm. Cataclysm is coming in. They're bringing Kiranich down low. The BKB is off. A bit of a heal coming in for Sage, but the Ice Shards will trap him in. He also out to the side. He's out. He's with the bleak. So the man is out. He's out of the Doom. He's gone in deep, but he's been caught. Notice gets him for the second round of the AoE Doom. And the kickback's there, but it's sort of set up Notice on top of the two of them. He's in on top of Cat's over. They're throwing in all the buybacks here, Entity, to try and hold. But the barracks have been taken. They will kill off Notice, but the damage has been done. The Mega Creeps are out. Entity, they need more from this. They'll get the kickback over towards FNG. He'll try and charge out, but they do trip him up with a further stun. Okay. Some couple but kills off on a sentry. Squad X is just in. And they just, uh, the Dagon Burst already bring him down incredibly low. Squadix is able to jump forward. Watson tries to turn a Honda back with the, 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 the Ravage is there. And indeed, this game's over. This series is done. GG well played is called Virtus Pro.
turns away in fears of failure whenever the battle home blows. It feeds conviction to explore beyond imagined boundaries, to find new standards of excellence and carve a path to victory like we've never seen before. Fallen adversaries. But the battle for the Aegis endures. And those who remain will fight to show everyone. Legends don't follow in the footsteps of others. Dota teams in the world. Game in Gladiators. Remember, Gabe, it's just a game. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Wait, did he just tilt you with your own voice long? Yes. What? Hi, I'm Gabe Newell. And like many of you, I have a complicated relationship with Dota. What's not complicated is when you bring the best players in the world together at the highest level of competition. 
And I'm personally very pleased that we're able to do this in Seattle for the first time in half of a decade. So to all of you, welcome to the International. Quinn get to it for free here. Oh, jump onto the two of them oh, with the down. double ravage, with the meteor. What an opportunity from Ace, just like that. Cutting two down right in front of your tier. Looking for the back of the... They're yeah. trying so hard, but he keeps them away with the avalanche move. Doesn't get that initiative. Well, we got four. Oh, maybe, maybe he does. Any follow up to that, the blast goes out. Now Leela's trying to jump in, but they're also damn healthy. They're all grouped up. Yes, but the Shadow Wing just instantly full heals them all. Got and... one bear out of it, so resummon from Ace. Yeah, if they can actually get uh, back to the fountain somehow, but K1 Hector, he's going to be slowed down. Not Gaming Gladius isn't worried about him. Maybe they will. They're going to get the toss back and finish him off that way while taking the buildings in style. Gaming Gladiators, they're ending this one right now with 40 seconds left on the enemy carry. Not that he's much of a factor, to be honest. Ah, the Harpoon pull him right back in. No force staff out of this one. Gaming Gladiators have all the... Okay. Yeah, much more of a setup and trying to enable his allies. Well, let's see if they can find this setup finally here as they do manage to come in, but there it is. Stampede run together, right. but the torrent, and then into the ink swell. That was well played and exactly what VP needed, but then everybody dies on the other side. Oh man, that Wukong's command was devastating. And he's still okay, trying to take it down. They kill the egg. They... Da, 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 and tries to take it down and... Oh, the yes. they ran out. They got him caught. Heretics, no! Not my rapiers! Buyback. Nightfall jumps oh, in. Has the buyback. Kick back. The buyback's there. Can they. Oh! Two shot. Gotta be careful. Is Remember the throne. Out of Remember the throne. Remember the throne. The throne is there. It's exposed, but nobody is hitting it. Notice tries to get out, but. God, they do so much damage with the rest of these heroes. Now kicking back in, the Tombstone, double Tombstone's down! The throne exposed! Pure, all on top of it! Can they bring it out in time? Save! Save. He's in the Shadow Realm and trying to end the game. The control, it's gonna be there, but they find the Hex, trying to kill him. Saves, they're in it! Toronto, Tokyo ends the game! And with that, Bet Boom, they are going to knock out Furnus Pro. Here. Shield room, he's gonna get the initiation off onto the Sven with the Sunray coming in from the egg as well. As Nisha looking for the RP potentially to be able to skewer a couple away. Stormbuck will fall in there to right click to commence, but Mickey is extremely low. He will fall. The anchor comes out along with the Ravage as well, but that's a dead Nisha. Already two cores dead for Liquid. And this is looking very, very bad for them as Zai stuck between a bunch of brambles will eventually be brought down as well. Three for nothing, make it four as that chop potentially brings this game to an end as Insani onto the high ground. Quite a punish. Just coming up soon. Collapse wants to take a fight. They're trying to apply all their pressure to the spec, but they don't have to break with them right now. As Mira taking the brother damage from Nisha on this ring. He's pop his BKB, wants to finish off the invoker. He does so successfully. Now that's an instant buyback from him. As Nisha, only with one smoke screen to go. Collapse just trying to bash him down. He will do so. They will buy it back immediately though. And now, continuing on the fight is Boxy dies inside that kinetic field. Mickie trying to apply some pressure to Laurel. He's only at half health, but there's the break. Can they finish off the Spectre? But no, not going to be enough damage. At least not yet. But jumping in is Collapse to try to finish the job. But there's the Manta style keeping him alive. Yataro, though, very healthy, will claim the kill for himself. Now focusing on Zai, whose primal split is already down. Oh. Barely lives to the last Gemini attack. Big Sunstrike coming out. Double kill for Yataro. Yes. And just like that, I mean, effectively, it's a. Azure Ray. They're gonna step forward already. Nothing to say to the move out of the They're gone. Can you take a look? Jeremy, F fight's out of the game. As low and F fight, they do not have five back. Sonus also put to a stop there to oh, attempt oh. TP out. Chalice. They just can't do anything. Azure Ray. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Shiro's gone. The bristle back used, and nothing to say. Looking for an angle. Fights two. He's in. He's caught the two of them. He's able to drag them back straight into the corner. The damage coming out for Shiro. The pierce the villain. Take out Jeremy. Oh, take out Sonus. 
Once again, nothing to say. Coming in with the RPs that count here. And he's maybe even making these quick moves with all their cooldowns. Somnus. TP's coming in. The split. The split is there. Shira, he's ready to dive in. They're getting aggressive on Somnus underneath the tap. And air flies in with the snowball. Buys time for Somnus to try and survive. The damage is done. Nothing to say. Finish it off with the illusory orb. They'll go for FY. Stolen snowball here for Planet. Closing it onto the Tusk. FY caught by the stun. Further team is coming in. Chalice hits in half with the start break over towards Shira. He's been caught by the sun. And Shira is surrounded. He looks to jump out with the auto base over the high ground. He kills on Tiago. Is he getting out? He's alive. No oh, way. He's deep out. He makes it away. And Chalice, they get him as well. Oh. LGD take out four. Pushing down the tail. Celery deep in the corner. How do you get, get this guy out of here? What a tour. Tour, though, it's yeah. it's 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 three, that's beautiful, but immediately the BKB going off. They are doing a lot of damage. The Necropros is getting low. Can they finish? Oh, five. Low, and he is just cleaning up with the glaze. And Celery dove on through the pit, but he missed the ages. He was barely outside of that range. Well, Garacho, he is just going to run in. He Man, the dock give it in. It's Ravage. Or and they burst him down in time. The Rolling Thunder is going to try and stop things. And Garacho gets off his PKB. Now he's going to be able to fight back. Mickey forcing forward, trying to put the damage onto Garacho. But underneath the Supernova, the Dragon's Eye back into it. And Mickey has to start running. Away, but the bear is on the other side. Clean it house. Sandwiches liquid in this. And they are done for in this fight. They cannot stop the bear. Liquid. Another aggressive engagement from them. Another utter disaster. But now we have this. This will help us win everything. As, oh, Nisha gets caught up by that one. Face shift. He's able to blink away. The clawing's going to be a problem, but he does manage to blink, but straight in the arms of Duraccio. Easily takes up that kill and looks for more. Insania's going to be cleaned out. That's a dive back for him. Zai dies right next to the fountain. Game and Gladiators are way too strong for Liquid right now, and they're going to go for the killing blow by taking Mega... But to defend the high ground from Bet Boom, there are similar abilities here for Azurae, most notably the kick, of course. So we have to be very careful how they use the Kunkka X. Well, yeah, they use it immediately. And no he actually, oh, he gets Snowball because of that. Oh, FY did not maybe see that X. Not sure what happened. Will Snowball a second time with the Torrent Storm going out. Not easy to take this fight. They will kill one, but can they kill another? They pull him out of position. Yule Scepter lift up. The boat is going to not land on him. So they are able to survive with Chalice not buying back. But FY, wait, he bought back! FY, does he have enough to stay alive though? The stun is there, a long duration, but no, he's gone! Just like that one! GPK stunned for a little while, Chalice still there for the control, but he's out of position! Three seconds stun, starts to fall and gone! Can they find more? But there's the Reaper Scythe, oh. there for a turnaround, the fight! It's lasted too long! This is where Somnus shows up! Gets the blink away, GPK managing to escape. Oh, Are you thinking about wait, something here? Wait, wait. crazy. Yule Scepter. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can they do it? GPK wanted to fight, but is it actually going to work? They're all lined up. Pump the starts to fall. He goes down, but he's inside. He invests. He's disarmed. He's disarmed. He can't hit the right click. It's enough. Yule takes them down. Two seconds done on the side. Oh, he's trying to get the kill, but he transfers it over. Gets the cheese off in time. The Lotus, not sure what it was, he's but like, now he's good. over to the side and Som is still living. Somehow, someone oh, he does this! He's gonna do it! Triple kill for GPK, oh, but is it enough? Can they do it? They take him down! GPK trying to run, but no! Somnus is too strong! Oh, it's so much damage just everywhere. They're buying back, they're boxing back and on top of each other, trying to finish this game. Ray, they see GPK, decide to jump on him to start, make him less tanky, oh, no. but the chrono for the turn, and the deeps being thrown out and ripping them to shreds. They didn't stand a chance. Where to you're going to? Can't even get GPK. Oh, baby. They won. X mark, control, torrent, got him caught, saved, dead again. That's a buyback. Lowell hitting. They don't have answers. As a Ray, there's the hook shot. They find the high ground, but look at the turn from Nightfall. Pops the oh, team staying alive. Cool. The dual jump board. They didn't get anything off. Bedboom trying to hold for all their worth. But do they have enough damage? Do they have enough to take him down? Nightfall, he's out of the face. Yet again, he's gonna die. 80 seconds gone. As a Ray, they lasted long enough. And one death was all it took. Lowell feeling himself there on the finish. Go back to how this game started. It was not looking good. Team Spirit versus LGT Gaming. Yeah, you know, it's 
something. I don't think I've ever seen more player use Mira. Yeah. It's jumped you. He's got the E on disc of the red. If he can continue to follow this up on the side, Maposka does it down a chance. Maybe they can find more here as Mira also take a heavy damage from the illusion. And what an angle. Was low, low. We'll get the torrent storm on the BKP off. Tries to step back. The torrent is even in the midst of the fight. The torrent storm continues to throw Big RP. Be locked down in the center. Take it. Nothing to say down. They take it at you. No fight back available for nothing to say. As he's out for two minutes. Yatora also able to fight. They get Shiro as well. Uh, they don't have buybacks. They don't have buybacks. 50 seconds until Shiro's is back up. And, and nothing to say. He's not because he's there. He's able to get away from the initial attempt. But well, he's still there for RP. Nothing. He drags him back towards the rest of the team there. They bring Yatora down. Team is going to have a spring in the bottom of the pyramid. The fallback tidal away there. Pulling them back. The fear fall up as well. Straight down under nothing to say. The Magnus will fall. Here comes Collapse. Shiro drags back Shiro. They fully focus the Spectres. The top fall up there for Ra. Kill for collapse. A spirit, they'll lose your tour, but they make up the pay. They'll find the third. Triple kill for collapse. Give it the fourth. Four. They chase our planet. Ultra kill in 23 minutes in for collapse on the CK. <laughs> He's a move over your tour. So, okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. All right, that was an enchantress. No longer, though. Another astral imprisonment onto the center who's stuck inside the pit. So, He's gonna get rooted again, brought back with the Reality Rift into another root. But the Deadshot's gonna keep Quinn away, but still, damage is being applied to these barracks. And Azure Ray not showing many signs of life here. Is Lou on the backside, just gonna try to help out, but he's already lost the Centaur. And now Somnus on the run, all he can do is go back to base. In fact, he might be back to death. He'll be Astrally himself again, but dies again shortly yeah. after as the GGs are called. And Gaming glad he beat it. So, okay. Oh, uh... <laughs> Makes them into picking Harskar and uh, hopefully they wanted to win, uh, win us again. But I feel like Harskar doesn't really fit to their draft this game. I feel like they are lacking control and uh, we will play loose and uh, we have a confidence. Back to your casters. So Lanham's not going to be too happy with the beginning of this game. Holy <laughs> Jesus! Already three kills for Gaming Gladiator. That was the biggest inner fire I've ever seen. Now Sonsis under his tier one tower will fall as well. A one K lead. Life. They can go up. Last team, Shiro and you getting the space to finish off. Ace. Run, run up, you say. Able to get the grab, they turn straight away. The side comes down and does the save. Able to put the BKB jump off from Ace. Nothing to say. He's able to live for now. He takes out. He's onto the egg with a chemical range. He's able to he take solo it. Kills it. Takes the super over. Turns over to one dude. Put the BKB. Big stun. Zero. Move with the turn. Gets the Aegis on the loot. After Andrew tries to stand his ground against him. But he's caught by the disruption. They're all to the loot. 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 He's able to get out of this one. Okay, the gaming guy is alone. Gone. He's picked up the rapier. He's not able to get it out. He tries to put the refresher, but he's gone. He's, he's, he's out. Nothing to say. Trying to start off the defense. Jump off from you. And with a hoose, stop straight away on towards Duracho. Duracho stepping away. He's able to put the BKB. Oh, for nothing to say. Bashing it on towards Ace. They're bringing Ace down low. The supernova pops successfully. But the building the objective the second round. being taken. The base exposed. They've got to do something crazy here, LGD, if they want to hold. Duracho being careful. 10 seconds for Chemical Rage. He's letting Quinn just hit the throne. They're doing it safely. They're doing it carefully here, Gaming Gladiators. Another charge for for nothing to say. Trying his best to tank the spells. Loads are thrown out upon him. Reflectively, a bit of blade from Duracho. Celery trying to hit onto the Ancient himself. 20 seconds. They've got the fortification. LGD doing their best. Holding out for a Shiro here. But he may not respawn to die as he's dead for 15 more seconds. Rachel's They're looking to close it onto the agent. Ten seconds until the loot is up. Nothing to say. Try to put a stop to it all. No. He's in with the hoost up. He's got the two of them. He gets the jump. The burst is over. But Durango, he's dead. The kill him. He does it. By far the highest. And Ace. He's going again. again. He's going up towards the tier fours. They get another round of the Shadow Strike daggers out into the two of them. Shiro trying to step forward. The illusions out. The Durango is pretty much ignoring them. Hitting onto the tier three. Shiro's they in trouble. They catch the sun. Ace stepping forward. They get the pullback with the rift. Shiro's in trouble. The Hex is there. Just to throw down. On towards the action. Shiro. He's not enough to He's fight done. back to save Shiro. Shiro taken out. He's short of the money on buyback. You also to fall. They don't have the buybacks here. LGD is gaming gladiators. Taking them down one by one. Stood over the walls. Nothing to say. He's also out without no buyback. The tier four is exposed. They're looking at it It's over. GG is called. Gaming Welcome, Dota fans. From around the house 
around the town, around the block, and around the world to the International Grand Finals! Team Spirit versus Game in Gladiators! Grand Finals! Game 1. This BKB, he will not have time lapse for this fight, because I don't need it. With the three-man coil! It's looking beautiful, and Utoro's right in there with his fresh BKB to lay the damage in these cores. Once again, Ace has no chance with the bear, and of course the Beastmaster's gonna lock down that ball. You're not going anywhere, Quinn. They're gonna catch more. Tofu's gonna get the stalemate, and he's gonna kick someone out, and Utoro just runs straight into them. Pops BKB, turns around. Oh, man, that damage is just building up so quickly. Quinn's got it in instant, so is the bear. Durachio battling up against Laurel, but the big bad boss of the, the fight is definitely Utoro, and once he turns it's it over. on, on a hero Absolutely disappeared. Over. Game. Game Team Spirit versus Game in Gladiators. Grand Final. Game two. <laughs> he will match him. Oh, Marl is essentially there to grab him. Mira can stop some of this though. Throws out in silence. Thanks well. Oh, so much burst damage though. Celery hit him big with that one. He got off the shield crash though. No way. Those shields are keeping him alive. They need a bit more damage, but now he's teeping away. Oh, when your primal is dead, he's so much of your damage, so much of your burst damage. I mean, again, they're very close to bursting Yatoro, but the man knows his limits. Elvin to the oh, Tofu! Yeah. A shot from downtown claims the life of back for that second life, oh, and collapse. they've got an opportunity from Collapse. Old Celery out of position. All right. Raggio gonna try and use that Faceless Void form to be able to help out, but the Chronos here goes got to the work. The Old Scepter not actually grabbing the real one. Oh, he's still up, and he finishes off the Morph like so easily. Now the RP gets the other two cores. Team Spirit so clean. The extra ghosts come out from the Wraith King, but he doesn't really do anything. Ace just pops DKB on the second life. They do manage to get another pick here on his salary. He tries to jump forward. They've got nothing left in the tank on Gaming Gladiators. They are all gonna fall. They're gonna throw their damage around. The Chief's actually getting popped. It's Collapse got a little bit low, but in the foul, Laurel goes. Oh, He's gonna rampage. get Toro a rampage, maybe a double. No, no, Tofu's gonna deny him that. They're gonna call the GG, unless pulled back in no this one is a in second the rampage to finally close it <laughs> up i mean why not add team spirit versus game in gladiators grand finals game three Join him as soon as he gets that initiation, but they don't quite catch him. The Ice Blast is going to be stretched out. Utoro, they see an opportunity to turn this around. Yeah, he's going to go for Duraccio here with the Snowball. Well, the the There's so many heroes. They just pull out the Phantasm, but Utoro himself, he will bring down. He will use his own hand to take down the enemy carry. Now looks to finish up these Grueling's if possible. Game and Gladiator one. trying so hard. The last one is going to die. Double kill for Utoro, and they turn back. Utoro's going to take his chance to Deeping vote. first down. Oh, man. Before you can even complete the sentence, he's already gone. They do have an Ice Blast, though. That's pretty well positioned. Duraccio's already cleaned up the Grimstroke. It's not too bad, but Duraccio, he needs to get out of there. It's, oh, my God, that's so much. Five back it's the too Spectre. much damage. Spectre has to win this now, but he has to be has careful to of that something. Dazzle. They have to be able to take away this Aegis at the bare minimum. Surely they have to go for more. They have to risk it. Collapse is going to charge on through to make sure you can't sit up on Yutora. Now Yutora will turn back around on you. He's ready for that fight. He pulls back into Duraccio. This could be it for Gaming Gladiators. And let's find a way out of it. Quinn's dead next. Now Duraccio, a dive back for him. He falls. Tofu's pulled back in. He is pulled to his knee. It holds him in place. He can't do anything against that, but at least the Brewmaster can. Get and they the kick him in. The throne is exploded. And now he's been pulled Welcome back. Welcome to hell. Oh, no. It is too much for Gaming Gladiators to be able to handle. They are not going to be able to get through this. They have to pray to get out, but the Cathedral is merciless. It is Team Spirit who are unstoppable. They will take it. The best team in the whole goddamn world, without a doubt. Silence every other team. For two times. The second time in the Dota's history. Team Spirit will claim the ages. Team Spirit win the international.